Not like Monty Python counting. Yeah. One, three, five, four. Ah, um, so one A C. <laughs> right, right, totally. <laughs>
until the end, right? So yeah. the rest, the rest of you guys are going to need to run like uh, Horns did in that first fight. If uh, if you guys don't want TPKs in bad situations, right? Right. Uh, totally. Okay. Sure. Well, cool. So we're we're short too. I'm going to improvise a little bit with the opening of this one. You guys good to go? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What did you say, Josh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Did we All search right. and everything? Like before we left here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, just brief, brief, brief refresher. You guys just cleared out a cave full of orcs. Um, there since the beginning of the game, uh, the town masters offer money for doing that. Also, Horrence has a little bit of motivation with uh, cost, wanting him to do that as well. Um, but just, just finish it. Finish that bite. You that fight. You guys did search the cave. You got a bunch of treasure, and uh, Milby got his bag, his bag of tricks back as well yeah 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 so so all that being said as you were walking out of the cave there's two um what is clearly visible to you guys as paladins coming over the hill on horseback uh you've got one that's a human male he's in the front the second one is an elf male who's behind them and you can just tell by the way they're dressed Mm -hmm. um they also have on top of their armor they have like a uh both of them are wearing like a uh, is it is it's a tabard what it's called? It's tabard. like a like a fabric mm-hmm. covering that has the symbol for the Order of the Gauntlet on it. Uh, Chiron knows that because he is in the Order of the Gauntlet. Oh. And uh, as they get close, the guy in front, the human male, says, "You guys look like shit. Which one of you tieflings is Chiron?" He's the one over there. The mute. So, Chiron. <laughs> <laughs> So Chiron like goes up and talks to him and says, you know, hey, who are you? And uh, oh, I forgot we we, you, we haven't met yet. My name is Onthar, and it, in case you didn't know, I'm the current leader of the Order of the Gauntlet. Uh, we we've been coming through town. We were on a mission as we're headed out east, and I uh, just heard of of all the deeds that you all have been doing around here. I uh, w- was told that you were in this area, and uh, thank goodness thank goodness we found you. Apparently a little too late, because it looks like you already cleared this place out, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Hey, Are you I'll talking to nice. Tyra? <laughs> Just the party in general, yep. Yeah. So um, he looks over. Hold on one second. So Anthar looks over to the, to the elf and says, uh, Blasius, here, uh, let's help these people out. And uh, the elf goes back in his pack. He he hops down from his horse. He brings each one of you a potion of healing, oh, nice. as well. And uh, he just kind of nods when he goes up to everybody. Uh, Anthar is like, "Yeah, Blasius, he's not the most talkative of <laughs> of elves, but uh, but but yeah, great, great, great to see y'all. So glad that you're here. Do you need any help? Is there anything going on in that cave? What's the? We don't deal? care if we drink it right now or not. Nope. Do whatever you want with it. All right. You want to drink it? No. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So what's going uh, on in this cave? We, got, we got some orcs in there. Um, a big old troll. Orcs. Or not troll. Um, what the hell is that thing? Uh, ogre. 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 <laughs> big old ogre. Kill, kill them all. <sighs> nice. So it's, it's empty? Yeah, besides the bodies and... Bedrolls. So Anthar is walking around. Him and Blasius, they're handing out the potions to y'all. Uh, he just asked us if the cave was empty. Uh, Stallionette said yes. Um, Anthar says, well, I, I, th- I think that at this point, the sun's setting, we ought to set up camp here in this cave. Let me let me and Blasius do the favor to the th- to the uh, to your group here to uh, clean up these uh, clean up this cave a little bit. Let's camp in here. What do y'all say? That's fine by me. There's fresh water, I think, in there. There's some bedrolls in my small like orc, but uh, we'll do better than orc, orc bedrolls for you. <laughs> There's uh, a dead ogre too. <laughs> yeah. So do you know these guys, Chiron? I have not met them before. No. I don't know how. I mean, they seem friendly enough, but I'll, I'll take the first watch. I suppose I'm not. I'm not sleeping with both these guys. So, in the meantime, they've walked into the cave. 
and they're, they're doing busy work. They're cleaning up bodies and stuff for you guys while you're having this conversation. So, yeah, they're members of the orders of, of the Order of the Gauntlet, and they're definitely going to be good people. They'll help us. Well, so they claim. They're paladins, too, and I can speak that they're good people. So they claim. <laughs> wow, still you know. Has, has anyone met them before? Yeah. No. Nope. No. We, we, bring down we our... shouldn't. We shouldn't be so trust. I mean, these they do seem like good people to me, but uh, I'm just saying, you know, keep your eyes open. Let's stay alert. If none of us have met them, <laughs> always bring down a holy fire on them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Okay, so um, Anthar and in in uh, Blasius come out. Uh, Anthar's like. Gentlemen, Blasius is cooking a meal in there. He'll, he'll be busy doing that. Uh, in the meantime, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to Chiron for just a moment or two. Sure. Okay. It's fine. You good with it, Chiron? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so so he pulls you over the side. Uh, again, he's a human. He's bearded. He's he's large for a human. He, this guy is, you know, cool. six foot three, 300 pounds, muscle. And stuff. Uh, he just pulls you over the side and says, "Chiron, I just I know that you're new to the order. I just wanted to make sure. You know, normally I wouldn't be having this conversation with new initiates, but but I've just happened to be in this area and just wanted to talk about the a few things about the order for you with you, if you don't mind." Absolutely. Okay, so just it, it, I don't know how much Duran had had told you, but the Order of the Gauntlet, uh, relatively new. We don't have hundreds of years on us like the rest of these uh, groups around around Faerun, but uh, w the bearers of the Gauntlet are holy warriors on a righteous quest to crush evil and promote justice. We never hide in the shadows. Evil must be opposed openly and vanquished in the light of day, so that all can see and be emboldened by its destruction. We just wanted to make sure we're, we're not a particular religious affiliation. Many members of the order are, are uh, 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 worshipers of different gods, but we all hold these key tenets near and true to us. And I just want to make sure that you are on board with this as well. Doing good deeds is definitely what I'm here and what I'm about. So. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so just basically... Stop by. I was hoping to help you in this cave and uh, didn't have the opportunity to. So, you know, we're, the least we can do is make dinner for y'all and set up camp tonight. Well, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Hey, you're welcome. So, uh, so yeah, he, he yeah. walks back to the rest of y'all. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to ask him if, you know, if he's aware of anything going on in the area that might need help. Well, yes, yes, Chiron. As a, as a matter of fact, there is. Um, let me let me think on a few things over the night, and we'll talk in the morning about about how you could help the order. And, and I, I think just rest assured that from what we've heard from Duran and in the people of the town about the things that you've been doing around here, things are right in line. You're you're in good shape for sure. Okay. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. So, uh, so he heads back in with y'all, and uh, he also brings a cask of ale off of the cart with him. And uh, it's, it, as you guys walk back, you know, Blasius is cooking some rabbits and stuff over a fire. He brings in some ale, and you guys just sit down over on the campfire. They've actually had brought some, they had some sacks that they stuffed there so that people can sleep and not sleep on orc, on orc beds and whatnot as well. And so, yeah, night progresses. You guys can go to bed. I don't know if you want to say sure. what order you would take, keep and watch. And can stuff. I ask him a question while we're sitting around the fire? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I just you know, I seem, I say you guys seem familiar to the area. Have, have you ever came across or heard of a, a Craigmaw Castle at all? <clears throat> Craigmaw Castle, I, we have absolutely heard of it. Our intel it has not found its location as of yet. Uh, we know it's in the area of, of the Tribor Trail. Yep. We believe a good friend is trapped there. If you hear anything, please let us know. Ah, yes. The dwarf, I assume. Yes, Gundren. Yes, yes. We, we, we are absolutely uh, investigating and trying to get the same answers. Okay, good. All right. So, I don't know, like I say, if you guys want to do the watch through the I night. It, sleep, so. Oh, that's right. I'll okay. just read from my tome. <laughs> right? Okay, cool. So if you guys want to heal up and 
Yeah. You hit the ice and all that. <laughs> go. Bean, that's beautiful bean footage. <laughs> we didn't level, did we? No. I don't think so. No. Okay, so early in the morning, um, Horrence, you notice the two of them, the two paladins, pack up and, uh, you know, they basically, everybody else is sleeping, so they just kind of say goodbye to you quietly. Um, they also take a letter and leave it under, or leave it right next to Chiron. Okay. As well. And then they, they head out on their horses. Right. They go they go and take off. Um, for everybody else, as you kind of wake up, I don't know, you could tell them that, Horrence, if you want to or not. <coughs> Um, I'm getting the letter, Pete. If you have Discord open, I'm gonna private message the letter to you in Discord, um, and then you guys can kind of dis discuss what you want to do from here. Yeah. So those those dudes cut out in early morning, and they uh, left you a note, Chiron. Just so you know, I don't know if you see it right there. <laughs> so. <laughs> there you go. I need to uh, go go uh, see a friend about some private matters during this d today. Um, it shouldn't take me more than an hour, or maybe longer. Uh, what friend? Oh, um, that 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 necromancer. I owe him a debt that I must oh. repay. Oh, that guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Milby kind of looks at you guys and, and is like, oh, man, he goes, you know, if it's all the same to you guys, again, all these this crazy action kind of really takes it out of me. I, ne I need to head back to town and, and just kind of spend a day at the inn and kind of regroup, if it's okay with y'all. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. So, sure. so Milby heads out. <laughs> <laughs> so what's everybody else want to do? You gonna stay there and camp for the day? You are gonna oh, do yeah. something else? You gonna try and go with Horrence, or what's the what's the plan here? Um, uh, all we have left to do is go north, huh? I mean, unless we find um, something about where Craigmont Castle is. Well, um, did they tell us where Craigmont Castle was? They said they knew no. where it was, and they never told us. No, they no, said they, said they, they didn't. Oh, yeah. So they heard of it, but I didn't know. So, it was. just to remind you guys, um, you the only kind of little bit of a lead that you have on that is that everybody talks about this druid named Rydoth, right? He's up and north, he, right? He knows the area really well, yeah, and he's he's hanging out in Thunder Tree, is what you've been told by well, his friends. Well, we might as well wait for Lawrence <coughs> and mosey on up to Thunder Tree. Yep. Yeah. That's How far thing. is that? That's about eight days travel. So yeah, let is me show you the map. Is Neverwinter closer? Let me show you the map. Hold on. Pull it up here. So we're gonna need to get some uh, some extra rations then if it's uh, eight days. Yeah, probably. All right, you should be able to see it now. Um, you are at Wyvern Tor. It's the red X farthest most to the right. Yeah. And Thunder Tree. Oh, it's right next to Neverwinter. Yep. Thunder Tree is that way. You can go about five hexes in a day of travel. Now, you can see where Horns is trying to go is the Old Owl Well, which is basically on the way back to the Tribor Trail also. He could be there and back in a half a day. Yeah. Yes. We're at Wyvern Tor. Yep. Well, why don't we just head back to Coneyberry, which is about a day's travel. I can and, just... and you can stop there on the way, yeah. Meet us back in town. Coneyberry. Well, it's... Any... Couldn't we go up? Or, no. I was thinking we'd go... Never mind. I was thinking we'd follow the river, but that looks like a dangerous route. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. So where are we going? 
If you go to the Coney Bear, you can pick up extra supplies for the the trap travel. There's nothing there. It's a burnt uh, out uh, ruin. Right. Yeah, that's that's the ruins that had the la had the the path that was going to Agathas. All right. In it, right. it's just ruins so, on the trail. So yeah. what's our next so guy? Thunder Tree. Land. Thunder Tree. Yeah. 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 By the way, it's right by Neverwinter. It's real far. Yeah, I see it. So I would. So we just have to take Trevor Trail back, then, huh? Yeah. And take the high road and cut cut off of it. Yeah, we may have to. Is All that right. the plan, though? Let's do that. Yeah, I would yeah. say we start in towards Neverwinter. And what are you guys doing specifically while Horns goes to Old Alwa? I'm just, um, just hanging out camping. You're gonna go up to the trail. What's the what's the plan? I'm just going to go out like hunting the woods with Madoka, unless the party wants to do something together. <clears throat> We're going to go bond a little bit. <laughs> Pete and Josh, or Pete and Jeff, are you guys good? Hang out at camp? Yeah. I'm just going to... Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's going on a half day waiting on him to come back. Right? Right. spend day in reflection. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. So, Lawrence, you got to go up to the old owl wall. Um, yeah. Let me just for just for the sake of it, let me find this here. Let's see here. Okay, on the way there. Okay, you make it there without any other action. Um, you know, it's basically due north of where you're going. You kind of have a feel for the area now. Again, right behind you, where Wyvern Tor is, is that big, big kind of mountain face right to where the kind of the, the rolling kind of foothills turn into serious, serious mountains. So you're headed away from that, and it's just kind of more, it's, it's foothills-ish uh, going around there. Um, you know where you're going, though, and as you approach the place, the, the tent is still set up in front of the wall there. Uh, uh, are there a bunch of undead zombies about to attack me? <laughs> so, I mean, you don't see any zombies. Okay. <laughs> so I, I yell out to Coast anyway, just to let him know I'm here. And uh, not to okay. attack me. And so when you yell out to him, there's like a poof of smoke right in front of you. And then boom. Uh there he is, standing right there. And he goes, well, well, well. What do we have here? Horrence, how are you? Fine, aren't we a bit theatric today? <laughs> it's, it's always a little fun. We put, we put a little fun into the arts. So, yeah. so how, how are things going? I, I've uh, finished your quests. I've uh, vanquished those orcs, and I've gotten the name of the uh, wizard who built the tower for you. You vanquished the orcs? Yes. No more orcs? No more orcs. I don't believe it. Okay, and you got... I, I seriously did not think that you would get the, the, the wizard's name. How, how, how did you manage that? Uh, well, uh... We killed. The, we uh, we uh, took, we captured Glass Staff, and I took his staff, and I gave it to that that witch Agatha, and she told me uh, who who uh, who built this place. So you beat the wizard Glass Staff and conquered Agatha to get yes. the answers. Yes, all by myself too. This is incredible. <laughs> incredible. You you are clearly. Clearly, much more skilled than I had given you, uh, than than I believed you to be, um, Horrence. So, so we need to talk. Then. Yes. So, so first of all, what's the wizard's name? Uh, Arthendal. Arthendal. I should have known. Um, so, and he starts walking with you back towards his tent. If if you're coming with him. Yes. Follow. I him. assume. Okay. So, Horrence, we, you need to level set with me about. The, the group that you're with. Do you uh, trust them? Do you what 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 are your what are your feelings about this group? 
Uh, I mean, I, I feel like that they uh, they serve their purpose, that they uh, keep me from getting murdered because I um, uh, I am not the fighter. And, okay. Uh, it, it's good to have strong fighting people around you. Certainly. Uh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> well, but do you trust them? Is my answer. Do you, you you trust them with your life when you're out doing these uh, doing all these tasks that I've been hearing about. I I I I suppose so. They've given me no reason to to not trust that, you know, they they've got my back. Okay, interesting. So, here's here's the thing. I know, of course, that you all are wrapped up whatever you're wrapped up in, it involves finding the the ancient forge in Wave Echo Cave. Um, that information of where that is would be very valuable to me and the wizards that I work with. Uh, if you you hear of anything, if you find the location, I, I would expect you to share that knowledge with me. And as we spoke with before, I would be more than happy to uh, to uh, take you on as an apprentice in in the necromantic arts. Um, I think that you should kind of see through this whole business about the cave before we begin uh then you're you're more than welcome to come with me back to thay and and we'll start our training in earnest right. how uh, does it sound to you do you do you accept now is there any else thing else in this for me you know i've been running around doing a lot of stuff <laughs> so i was planning on giving you th this anyways but since you ask I, I i like that initiative that you have that you show there and uh he breaks out this necklace and gives it to you um are you do you have a dungeon master's guide uh yeah so page 182 or uh, yeah 182 and he says uh Horrence, what what i'm what i'm giving you here is a necklace of fireballs um, it's it's a very powerful artifact in uh, but I believe if if you've done the things that you say you do that uh, that you're you're strong enough for it to handle it so just a little something to keep in mind just a little taste of of the uh, the types of items and power that uh, that you'll have once you once you join on with Ooh, me damn oh, you giving Merla's shit again <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. That's very powerful. Yeah. Yep. So, any any other questions? Anything else I can do for you, Horns? Is it 182? Yes, 182. Okay. The necklace of fireballs. Okay. Yeah. You gonna make him roll it? Is that what it says? Let's it says to roll for the yeah the number of beads. Yes, then let's do that. Hold on, let me find it, just so I can be on the same page. Right. Yeah, roll, roll 1d6 plus 3. 6. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. So you there you go. Nine so, level three fireballs. Yeah. So for the sake of people who are watching the show who don't have a Dungeons <laughs> Masters guide, the necklace of fireballs. Um, you can hurl, you can hurl those beads that it's made up of up to sixty feet. When it reaches the end of its tra trajectory, it detonates as a third level fireball spell. Spell. Uh, the DC save on that's fifteen. Damn. Um, you can hurl multiple beads or even the whole necklace as one action. So Just... that whole necklace what? you could throw. Yeah, right, and and blow off nine of those at the same time. There's a waste. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, but you could. I don't know. I mean, you save that till you find a dragon or something. Nine level three fireballs at once. That's a big hit. Yep, it's beasty for sure. <laughs> That's an understatement. Beastly. It's cataclysmic, is what that is. <laughs> it's a new. It's like mushroom cloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Because, I mean, I used one fireball on those four witches in the Amber Temple. and Right. Took them out. Took them right. out. <laughs> right. Totally. Yep. There you go. 
All right. Congratulations. Any any other questions for uh, cost? Josh. Horrence. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm back. I'm heading back to the group. Okay. If 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 you need anything, feel free to come see me. I, I will be here for at least a month's time. Uh, okay. and afterwards, and, and like I say, when when you're done with this little adventure with your friends, come back and, and you and I will take a trip to Thay. But you know where the, the echo chamber is. Yes, I, w I would absolutely like to know where Wave Echo Cave is. If if Wait you if you are able to find that information, that that would absolutely let's let's just say besides being my apprentice, that's going to open a lot of doors for you. The type of things that you're doing around here, Lawrence. All right. All right. All right. Hope to see you soon. Adios. <laughs> All right. So let me just roll for your walk back. Okay. Nothing happens. You get back to camp. So what's what's the uh, what's the plan with everybody here? We'll say at this point it's noon. Okay. You could probably get you could probably get three uh, hexes of travel in before ha having to camp again, if you want to go. Is there like a fast travel? Just roll, roll, roll till we get there. Well, so I, I would like you guys to kind of show me where how you want to do it on the map. If you got your pointers and stuff, like I mean, think, I'm just thinking we or you get three we hexes. Cut, thinking we cut through here up to the Tribor Trail, and then just take it to the high road. Okay, so. Well, is, is gonna, that what, does that sound good to everybody else? We're not going to make it out of these foothills no. by yeah. the end of the day. So I said we but that's the direction, yeah. Yeah, rest there. Yeah. Hit the trail the next day. And yeah. Then take the high road up to Thunder Tree and cut off the high road. Like. Well, I would, I would recommend we go to Neverwinter. Okay, yeah, because I want a horse. To Thunder Tree. Because we'll be able to supply it much better out of Neighbor Winter. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. All right. We're going back winter? to Neighbor Winter. Okay, but so your first three moves, that's where you're going right there. Okay. So let's see how travel goes that day. Oh, yay. Finally, something <laughs> happens. All right. All right. I've been rolling for shit to hit you guys forever. Never does. All right, I'm going to put you here. I don't know why it didn't change for me. What order are, is it? What, what's your marching order? Rogar's in front. Uh, it's telling us in back. And Rogar, Stelina, where's uh, where, where are the other two? Madoka's behind Rogar. Um, and I um, want to go pee. <laughs> Can we, or should we take a break, or should I just go pee real quick? You can go ahead. It'll take me a minute. All right. So where's uh, Rogar and Chiron? Rogar's in front. Oh, that's okay. What I said. I'm ahead of studying it. Can you guys see the map? Yep. Yep. You can, okay. Okay. Uh, Milby, Don? Yeah. Milby and The way they're showing on there right now looks accurate. Yeah. Okay. Where'd the cat go? Oh, yeah, the cat. The cat's not there. It was there for a second. Technical difficulties. Uh, they're not difficulties. It just takes a little time. Yeah. Cat. Control it. All right. So let's see what's happening here. It's twenty-seven. Uh, 
D12. During the day, plus two. All right, so everybody, um, let's see your passive perceptions. Highest is 12. Not. Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba. I have no stones. How's it bad to say? <laughs> so, you guys, um, wow. what's that? What did you say? So we don't have a ranger anymore. Yep, that is correct. That is correct. You got a ranger. So you come, you come around a bend, and immediately see right in the middle of the road, or the path that you're currently on, are four orcs. Um, they, because you came around the corner, how you did, like they see you right when you come around the corner there. So uh, nobody has surprise for this. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Here. Roll for them. Eleven. Okay, so who's over fifteen? I am. All three of you. Okay, what you, what's your scores? Seventeen. Twenty-one. Pete. Twenty-two. Damn. Twenty-one. Josh, Corey. What do you, What do you get, Corey? Eleven. <clears throat> so orcs go before Corey. All right. So Pete, Kyron's up. Can you guys see the orcs on the map? No. Yes. No? Let me Let me put dots. Yep, on I see them. Explain it. I was saying, uh, Madoka's behind Rogar. I don't really want him. Everybody wants to move back on. <sighs> Sorry, you went to the bathroom, dude? Oh, I said that before I went to the bathroom. <laughs> I know, I know you did. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, okay. So, Kyron? All right, so I'm going to move myself over here and go after green. Move my staff. So the, the AC is 13. Okay, well, I had 13 plus my three, so that's 16. All right, that's a hit on green. Three plus two is five. Five damage. Nice. He goes, ah! About like that. <laughs> and and anything I else? My, I spent my key point to do, because uh, I could do an additional um, hand blow along with that. Okay. That was a 11, so no. And I get... Two more unarmed strikes for my flurry. So. Nice, nice. Let him rip. Fourteen. Fourteen's a hit. Nineteen. Nice. Those are both hits. One plus two is three. Okay. And then four plus two is six. Six. Oh man. So that theory of blows, like you all watch, like Chiron just went up there and it's like you can't even see his hands. He's smashing this dude so fast and uh hit hit his face back like you heard like on the last one you heard like something like crack inside of him or something, but he's still standing at that point. He's just looking super, super rough. All right, so uh Josh Lawrence will be up next. Alright. I Start up here to cover, okay. and from behind a rock, 
I pop up and cast uh, Agonizing, uh, or is it uh, Eldritch Blast at the, uh, I guess, Red Dude. Red Dude with Eldritch Blast, okay. 14. 14 hits. All right. That's 17. 17 damage? Yeah. Boom, that bla- blasted his ass into oblivion. <laughs> like, just tore him up. That dude is dead right there. Alrighty. Nice one. Dead. Anything else? Nope. All right, Jeff. Time for you to smite some orcs. Yeah, he's going to smite. So he's, the Rogar's going to run straight at the orc and attack Blue and stand on the crumpled body of his blasted companion. Okay, all right. And just take a big le- a charging swing, just basically run, I'm swinging down. 13. It hits. And, uh, here we go. 1d8 plus 6. And while while he's swinging, he also casts Divine Smite. So, okay. on his hit, so roll for the first hit is, uh, oh, 8. Oops. 2 plus 6 is 8. And then, okay. additional, uh, 2d8 radiant damage nice. with the divine smite. So another 6 points, so 14. Let's see. Was that 8 and 6? Yeah, 14. Alright, so again, you like, you. he went from like sitting there snarling ready for you to come at him to like you slashed him across, like you opened up his front like chest area there. Uh, he is still standing, but he is not <laughs> snarling at you anymore. That dude, that dude looks like his he's face. real rough shape. Yeah, real rough shape. All right, it's the orc's turn at this point. Um, so let's see. Blue's going to go first. He's going to come at you, obviously, there, Rogar, um, with his great axe. Let's see. Rogar's AC is 18. And he hits. I rolled a 15 plus 5 to hit. Um, and then a hit is 1d12 plus 3. 7, so 10 damage right. on you. Um, yeah, that's his turn. Uh, green is coming after Chiron, who was smacking him. Uh, same thing, great axe. He missed, that's for sure. He rolled a three. And then orange. Orange. See if I can. Come back, Chiron, as well. <sighs> Chiron's AC is 15. Uh, he just rolled 18 plus five, so he definitely hits with that. Four. Oh, no. I'm looking at... Yeah, here it is. Hold on. 4 plus 3. 7 damage on Kyram. And then it's uh, Corey. Stallion Nuts' turn. Alright. <clears throat> so... Just gonna move up here. Um, Madoka's gonna move, like, here. Um, okay. And then uh, I'm going to shoot an arrow at the blue guy. <clears throat> okay. I can make that shot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Yep. All right. So. Uh, 
That's 16 plus 8 for the hit. hit. Yep. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, five damage. Five. So that dude was really messed up, and he is now dead. <laughs> All right. As well. Uh, so you, you got him. Arrow, arrow hit him in the shoulder, but that was enough to do it. He, he was in such rough shape. He just kind of was dazed anyways. Falls over. Sweet. All right. Anything else? No. Nope. Okay, Pete. Top of the round. Chiron got. Yeah, I'm here. I'm going to finish off green there. All right. I'll stop screen for 14. So that's a hit. And then for my um, punch. I'll be a 20. 20? <laughs> nice. Okay. So, clearly, Green is dead. I'm going to let you finish him. And I did want to say a few words earlier about uh, to you guys about the finish him business. Uh, Corey was talking to me after the last round. He's like, sometimes I don't want to go crazy on him. Like, you don't have to. You can just say I whack him and, he de and he's dead. Um, it's also, with a ranged attack, I'm not going to do it. Like, when Corey was just shooting an arrow, you don't really have control of the arrow in the air. But if you want to melee somebody, like, with the back end of a sword and knock them out, as opposed to kill them, that's your opportunity to do so there as well. But anyways, he's down. Let's finish him. All right, so I slam him with the staff to get him knocked down, and then I come in with a fist and I jam it right in the front of his nose and flash it into his brain. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dead. All right, anything else? So, well, it's going to spend for my additional punches after that, so I'll just send those at orange. Okay. So another 14. Yep. And 18. So. 18 damage? No. Uh, to that two oh, punches. those are the two punches. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So 7 plus 5. 13? 12, so 12, 12 total. 12 total? All right. 13. Uh, all right, so boom, 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 smacking him around. He's still standing. Uh, he's looking rough, but not like death door rough. But, uh, yeah, he's he's up there. You got anything else? All right. Nope. Josh? Torrance's no, turn? I guess I'll cast Agonizing Blast again on the um, sole remaining guy. Okay. Yep, orange is all that's left. 14 again. Hits. That's no good. That's uh, six. Six? You're yeah. dead. Agonizingly blasted his ass dead. <laughs> All right. You guys cleared him out. A uh, little, little adventure for your day. Let's see. That's going to be... Let's see how many hit points there were. Or, I mean, XP... Uh, ba -ba, ba -ba. 100 XP each, so that's 400 for the group. What's that going to be, 80? Let's do math. Yep, 80, 80 XP for everybody. Um, that puts so that, you in 1960. Y'all got that? Yep. yep. Yep, 1960. Yep. Okay. All right, so you make it, that, that happens during the day, you make it to that spot, that hex on the map that you're talking about um, for for the night to camp. Okay. Are, is it just torrents on watch every night? Do you guys want to play that a different way? Or? Oh, that's fine. If he doesn't have to sleep. If he doesn't have to sleep. I mean, that's why I took that that, that aspect, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so let me see if your sleep gets interrupted. It does not. So if you guys took any damage, you can heal up and stuff. Sweet. Right, hit dice as well. If yeah. you if you didn't max your hit dice before, you can now. All right, and then show me where where are we going on day two? Strawberry Trail. We're right. taking a direct route to that, and then taking that up to the high road. One, two, three, four, five. 
Right. So I'm gonna say, okay, we'll put you on this X. Yeah. All right. Let's see how that day goes. All right. So, um, again, you've been on this trail a bunch of times now. Uh, you you've got the the Neverwinter Woods is off to your right. Mm. To your left is the Sword Mountains that you can see all on there. Um, day is uneventful. It's nice. Uh, it it. it it actually gets a little bit cooler than it's been. It's like a, a nice, cool summer day. There's a nice breeze. You guys are feeling good on that day. Yes. All right, so camping that night. And middle of the night, some shit happens. Let's see here. Okay, um, Horrence, do a, do a, uh, actually, I'm going to use your passive perception. Hold on one second here. Mine's 12. I believe it's 9. 9. Alright, so I'm going to put you guys... All... Oh, not the work. Put you all kind of camp camping. right there, yeah. Right in a a bunch of in in the middle of the night, you hear them coming. A bunch of little sturges come flying through, so you can wake up your crew, assuming you want to. Two arms, two arms. We <laughs> have. It looks like flying naked seagull things. <laughs> uh. Yeah, your your passive perception. These things are stupid. You got enough to uh to see them. So everybody, roll initiative. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Six. Mutilated by these things. <laughs> Dude, fuck these dice. I'm picking different ones. <laughs> oh, he's playing these guys. This one sucks. Remind me not to use green and black again. <clears throat> okay, anybody over 15? No? Mm -mm. Just Sturgis. Um, who's over 10? I am 13. Uh, you said 17? 13. 13, what else? I'm at 15. Okay. 10. Jeff? All right. So Pete, Josh, Jeff, Corey last again. Yes. All right, so Sturges go first. Let me give me just a minute. I gotta write down their XP. Uh, you get rid of them goblins or the orcs. Oh yeah, <laughs> just ignore them. It doesn't matter if you can. <laughs> I can. <clears throat> Alright, these guys. Wow. It's a good thing they had their turn first. Alright. Ah, uh, goblins. Elite. Okay, so red comes at horns. Damn it. <laughs> um, does a so these things are like they're small, they're teeny, they're they're like little birds and stuff. Um, they got these big like mosquito like like blink like beaks. Um, they do this thing called blood drain, 
which um, the Sturge is tries to attach itself to the target. While attached, the Sturge doesn't attack. Instead, at the start of each of the Sturge's turn, the target loses five hit points due to blood loss. Yeah, he can detach itself if he wants to. Um, and the creature, including the target, can use its action to detach the Sturge. Okay, so you, you if it's on somebody... Right. You don't you want to swing on it, <laughs> right? You want to detach it at that point. So it's it's coming at you to uh, to do that. Bring it. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> okay, plus five to hit. What are you again? You're super strong, huh? No, you're not. You got fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen? I think so. Oh yeah, you're right. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay, it attaches. Shit. Red is red is Shit. attached to you. Right. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> All right, blue comes at Chiron. Tries to attach. Chiron's got a fifteen. He rolled a fourteen plus five, so he attaches. Green, same. Chiron. He does not attach. So I'm going to do something to... I'm going to mark these guys so that we know that they're attached. Let's see here. We'll put this thing on there. <clears throat> All right. Orange is coming at uh, Horrence. He does not attach. Purple comes at Stallionette. Stallionette's got 14. He rolled 11 plus 5, so he attaches. Uh, yellow is also going to come. Well, yellow is going to actually fly over to, to Rogar. Rogar's got 18. Get a 12 plus 5, so that 17. does not attach. I was going to say, good luck. <laughs> Blue red also comes at Rogar. <laughs> he rolled a natural 1, so <laughs> not only does he not attach, but he flies into that rock behind you Yeah. and splats himself. He's dead. <laughs> And then uh, blue, green comes at Madoka. What's right. Madoka's? Uh, it is, I believe. No, it's not twelve. It's uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Is that what we were wrong about last time? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Seven plus five. He does not attach. All right. So, Pete, it's your turn. You can use an action to detach, or you can attack the ones that are not attached. He said he didn't attach to me. Yep. Right. right. Yep. Okay. But you could detach them from your friends. Pull this shit off me. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. So, look at this. so these things don't even actually attack. All they do is try and attach. Mm-hmm. If they if they're on you at the start of their turn, right? They do five damage. Do they, do they get five life so back? So there's two of them on. Two of them on Horrence, one of them on Stallion Up. All right, I'll try and go get those ones off Horrence. All right. Which one are you doing first? Blue. Blue? Okay, so you, you do pull him off. Now, that's your action to do that. Do you get, like, a bonus action or anything else you could do with it? Well, the only way it would count as a bonus action is if I were to be punching him up there, and uh, I guess I could do a bonus martial art punch. 
So if you want to do that, but if it doesn't count as that, then then it doesn't count as a punch. Yeah, it's not. It's not an attack. Right. It's just an action to detach him. Okay. My only other bonus action would be to set myself to dodge for the next time they try and detach to me. Okay. Perfect. Remember that when I tell you one's coming at you. All right, Uh, Josh. I rip the filthy creature off my. Anything else you can do? Uh, that's your action. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, Jeff? Roll guys up. Let's see. Uh, they don't attack, right? So if I, dissing, if I try to move from this green one... You should be fine. Should be fine. It's called a melee weapon attack, the blood drain, but I think that's only once they're attached, so I'm going to say you'll be fine. All right. Rogar's going to circle around here and detach this purple one from Stallion All right. That's very nice of you. Thank you, Rogar. All right. So, Corey. And then right. I'm going to prepare myself oh. to dodge as a bonus action. So you can do that as a bonus action? No. Is that like a class thing or something? Yeah, then you can't. A, a dodge is an action. Damn it. <laughs> a dodge is an action. All right. I'm to be sneaky. So none are attached right now. Correct. All right. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna have Madoka run around. Okay. And try and pounce this green one. <clears throat> Wait, no. Yeah, she, there's no attack of opportunity with these things. So yeah, she's gonna try and pounce on that green one. <clears throat> okay. Which green one? Up top. Oh. Wow. Put her put her where she goes. You should be able to control. She her. needs twenty feet of running space to build up her space. Pounce. Um, <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. Um, okay, hit it with a claw attack. So that is uh, D20 plus 6. Their AC is 14. Okay, that's a hit then, 17. All right. And... So, uh, eight damage. Dead. Okay, so it's the Sturge's turn again. I'm going to have them all just try and attach whoever they're next to. So we'll start with red on Horrence. That's a 13 AC. Got 10 plus 5, it's attached. Dick. (laughs) Uh, Orange on Horrence. 14, it's attached. Um, da, 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 a blue. Is there a secondary roll to attach, or is it just the single attack roll? Yeah, the single attack roll attaches them, and then there isn't a roll on the next yeah. turn. It's just five damage on it, or or you roll the damage. It's one d four plus something. Um, blue is going to try and attach to Chiron. He sees fifteen. Got an eight. So he does not attach. Green is dead. Yellow's going to try to attach to Chiron. Got 17, so he's attached to Chiron. Um, Purple is going to try to attach to Sally Nut. His AC is 14. 20. Super attached. Super attached. It attached... (laughs) To her face. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> it's like a face. This hunter. thing out my forehead. <laughs> and then uh, this guy is gonna try and go to Rogar. His AC is 18. 10 plus 5 misses. 
All right, so they're done, and it's Pete's turn. Well, I'm taking the one off me. All right. All right. You going to move or anything? Or? No. I just want to get it off me. All right. Josh, you're up. And then I... again. So, yeah. I'm sorry. He dodged. Yeah. Or, yeah. The, the dodge thing. So you forgot to remind me, and I forgot it too when it attached. So that's like last turn at this point. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it again for next turn. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Take, no, Josh. Yeah, I'd take one of them off of me. Which one do you want? Red. Red. Anything else? I. I guess just uh, run away. All right. Flapping your arms. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that one's still attached to me, though. Yeah, I'll bring him with you. Right. We'll put him next to where the same spot he was. All right. Uh, Jeff? I'm going to move down over here and detach this one, the orange okay. one on horns. You got any bonus actions? Nope. All right, Corey? I'm going to detach purple. Take it off your face? Yep. Pull it out of my forehead. All right. It's like bleeding on your yeah. face now, too. It sucks. Yeah. And then I'm, uh, I'm moving back here. Madoka's going in front of me. Okay. <clears throat> That's it. Okay. Sturges. Wait, I dodge. Can you Wait, can't dodge. Uh, no, I can't. It's an action. Never mind. Yeah, here he took the thing off your face. Only Chiron can dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. All right. I tried that too. So, <laughs> that is flying down here. <laughs> so it's a shot. Gonna try and attach to Rogar. 13 plus 5, it does. Oh, that's bullshit. Damn. All right, blues go into Chiron. Fifteen plus five, it's attached. Um, purple is going at Chiron. Four, it's not attached. Yellow, going at Chiron. He's dodging, by the way. Yes. Okay. All right. So fourteen. So this would attach. Let me go back and do it now. 14 plus 5. Yeah, plus 5. Yep. Where's my iPad? What does dodge mean? Disadvantage on the roll. Who can find it first? Is that what it is? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, so I'm going again to blue. It's 15 and 16. So blue's attached. Uh, yellow. 13 and 2, so yellow is not attached. All right, and then... Uh, it wasn't it already attached? It yeah, but no. I took it off because I didn't roll with disadvantage when I rolled. All right, right, right. 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 Um, and then finally, the blue. Blue-green. He got 11 and a 3, so he is not attached. All right, so you got one on you there. It's uh, it's your turn, Pete. All right, sorry. I realized I didn't say whose turn it was. Screw it. I'm gonna go. I'm going to use my. Uh, what is this? Use a sweeping cinder strike and throw burning hands. What's all? What's all that do? So a lot. Basically, I'm casting uh, burning hands as a monk attack. Is that AOE? So, so it's a DC eight plus two plus. 
my wisdom, which is two, so basically twelve. Spell they have to make. Save. They have to make huh? saves. Um, Just on one or on all of them. So that's going to be uh, it cast as a cone coming out of me, fifteen feet. Okay. So that would go in. You're going to hit those three. If I, do like, it in this, if I do it in this direction. Right. Should hit the three that are to my. Yeah. Yeah. It. It uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Um. So it, what? What are they? What happens if they save? Is it half? Damage. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going to it right now. I don't know. We have it. Should be half right. damage for burning hands. I got it right here. Right. Yeah. Three d six for a failed save. Half as much for uh, a save. Okay. That, so it's going to kill them. I'm not going to roll the saves. Um. That that definitely kills those three. These things have two hit points. I wouldn't normally tell you how much hit points something has, but you know these these things are like flies to you guys. Annoying flies. Yep, <laughs> I think that's their point. Just to be annoying. Uh, All right, anything else? Which means I have to take one d four plus something damage from the one who's attached no, to me. Begin the next turn. Oh, okay. Begin the next turn. Yep. So, so somebody else could detach it, maybe. Gotcha. Yep. All right, Josh. All right, I take my dagger and I pissed offedly stab uh, this yellow, I guess, gold orange. must orange. Okay. Do it. Thirteen. Damn it! I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? I swear. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, Jeff. I'm going to detach this one that's attached to me. Okay. And then disengage and um, disengage and move back up here behind the one that's attached to Chiron. Alright. Corey? Alright. I'm going to send, like, Madoka, like, this telepathic image of her biting down on the fly and pulling it off. And um, she's going to run up and pull this blue one off of Chiron. Chiron, are you going to let her? you going to let a panther pull a sturge off you with its you teeth? trust her? So... <laughs> At this point, it actually seems because I, depending on where it's attached, because I'm facing away of where that panther's coming at me, where I just did burning yeah. hands. So I'm not sure if I even. She's just gonna come up and pull yeah. it off with her teeth. I'd say it's on your arm. Okay, so I'd probably be startled and jump back as she did it, but. You know, okay. <laughs> you know, like we're getting these things killed, so yeah, get it off me. Okay. Um. I guess I I would like her to do like a DC ten, um, what would it be like? Uh, let's go athletics. A DC ten athletics check to do it. And if she rolls a one, she's taking a bite. A DC ten athletics, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, hold on. Let's see where athletics are. Um, so athletics is strength. She's plus two in strength. So, all right, DC ten. Yeah. Six. <laughs> okay, so she doesn't get it off. I just feel like it's different not having hands. I should make it a little difficult for her to do that like I, I don't know if I we All need right. to talk about the companions and the stuff that she can do <laughs> versus not before next session um, because a little bit other than the stuff that's in her stat block I don't, I don't know if we can play every like she can just do whatever she, she can wants pull some shit off with her teeth I just don't know that a cat would do that like I, I don't know well, maybe would... maybe I'm, le I'm letting her try 
Because <laughs> it's effectively giving you another action. You know what I mean? And if it doesn't say to do that until other levels, like, I feel like... Wait, how's... No, I, I didn't need... My, the only, my only action was pulling the thing off. It didn't give me any other extra action. But didn't you shoot at one or whatever? Or that's no. your, that was, that's I your didn't action? That's your action. That was last... That was, he never shot at anything. This turn, I didn't do anything. I just sent Madoka up there to pull it off. Okay, okay. Well, if th okay, so if that's your action... That was my I, action. Okay, then I won't do the check. Yeah, okay. And then she can pull it off. Yeah, I thought that, that makes sense. harsh. Okay. Sure. No, no, I'm d I was just trying to... But again, I think we still need to have that conversation a little bit. All right. It. it doesn't seem like a natural... I wasn't about to dispute it, but... To me. Right, right, totally. Okay. Uh, Sturge's turn. Who do we got alive here? All right, these guys are going after horns. They're too dumb to, like, actually switch targets. So red first. Eight plus five is 13. Red attaches. And then yellow or orange. Fourteen plus five. Sorry, I know these things are getting annoying. Uh, blue is going to try and attach to Madoka. What's Madoka's AC? I got an eight, so I got thirteen versus fourteen. Is that is that what we decided? Yeah, fourteen. All right, so it misses, and then the other ones are all dead there. So it's Pete's turn. All right. I'm right, coming down here. I'm going to um, take red off. All right. Anything else? Dodge. No. No, I'm Can't. out of points. Yeah, I'm out of points. Oh. All right. Uh, Josh. Uh, I'm going to detach orange All right. and run away again. Alright. <laughs> um, Jeff? <laughs> I'm going to take a swipe at blue. Since okay. no one's attached. To hit 15? I rolled an 18. Nice. Without modifiers. Finish him. I just... Okay. Oh. I just chop it, man. Chop it, man. That's all I'm gonna do. Yeah. I swing at it. So much you can really do. You gonna move it all? You could. You could uh, put your axe like flat or your blade flat, and then splat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, move down here. And give them an opportunity to try and attach to me here next to Chiron, hover above one. Right. That's very nice of you. All right, Corey. All right. Um. Special guest appearance by Arrow in there. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I'm going to send uh, my doe cop to Orangey here. All right. And uh, I'm going to bite that motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Round two Do is it. spinning time. Uh, D20 plus 6. Natural one. <laughs> she breaks it too. She misses, and she like when she hits the ground, like ball, like it's not a smooth landing. Like you she's know how prone. when cats, cat, no, she's not prone, but you know how it really bugs cats to do that, and they try yeah. and pretend like it didn't happen. Yeah. Like that's what she's doing. <laughs> right now. Is that Stupid it? Stupid flies. Madoka's <laughs> really annoyed by these flies. Um, and yeah, that's it. Wait. Yeah, that's right. All right. So it's their turn again. The only one that's left alive. Oh, no, there's two left alive. Okay, so the one orange is going after Rogar. Okay. 18. It rolled a three. It is not attached. That's right. Red's going to go after Chiron. Uh, 15. I rolled 19. Hits attached. Damn, dude. All right, and then it's uh, Pete's turn. I'm detaching red. Hey, <laughs> right. hey, right. anything else? Nope. Okay, Josh. I step up and try to stab this stupid thing with my dagger again. <laughs> Fourteen AC. All right, to hit. All right. 
It's dead. All right, four damage. Dead. It's dead. Anyway. Finish him. Poke. Finish him. I throw it on the ground and squish it with my boot. Nice. <laughs> All right, Jeff. I guess I'll circle around and uh, take a swing at red. Plus six is nine plus six fourteen. It's a hit. Uh, what is it? Two plus six is eight. Eight damage. Yeah, it's dead. I just cleaved it in two. And I spit on it. And it spit on it. All right, everybody, get a uh, forty XP for that. Two G's. And I'll still give you the full night's rest for that one. Those things weren't, it wasn't like. It was like a stupid, annoying fly attack. Yeah. There's some, there's some beastly things that could come Nobody even it. took any damage, right? No. No. It's just a mosquito attack. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's like my feet today. I. Spent the night at the lake last night, and I fell asleep outside outside until three in the morning. My feet are covered in bug bites. <laughs> oh damn! It's over there. <clears throat> All right, where where are you going here? On the, just up the Tribor Trail? We're gonna yeah, we'll, we'll hit the high road though. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, once you hit the high road, the high road is not dangerous like the Tribor Trail is. And I'll stop rolling for encounters there. But so this day you're trying to get to the corner there where the Tribor Trail hits the hits the yeah, high road. Yeah, I don't. Oh yeah, we're just going we straight to Neverwinter. So, as far as being on the high road, do we encounter any other travelers that we could ask questions of? Yeah, but not there yet. So, <laughs> this is today's. Today is also uneventful. Um, as you get past where Fandolin is, like you again, you're real familiar with the area. Neverwinter Wood starts to kind of peel away right. to your right. Um, Slowly, as you get towards the high road, towards the end of the day, you can kind of smell and hear the ocean, too. You start seeing ocean birds, things like that, as well. Um, during lunch, Stallionette found a rock that looked like a little funny face on it. Nice. And then, uh, But other than that, nothing else happened that day, and, and you guys made it to the high road. So She, like, showed it to Melby while he was resting in the um, camper. <laughs> Milby's still, uh, Milby's back in town. No, we care. We brought him. No, we, no, we yeah, he is. Handling. He is in Fandolin. <laughs> yep. So as you're not at the Tribor Trail yet, I'm just going to roll. I'm going to assume you guys are sleeping that night, um, doing camp on the on the, the night before you hit it, or right as you are approaching it. Um, and that night is uneventful. Everybody makes it to that night as well. So, yeah. So, Pete, what were you saying about the... About questioning, like, like the high road, you probably see during between like 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. You probably see, you know, 100 people. It, it's you got lots of people passing you with carts and things like that. Um, you know, it goes basically from Neverwinter to uh, what's not Baldur's Gate? No, it is Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Yeah. Waterdeep. Yeah. Waterdeep. Yeah. Waterdeep. Not what? Like, yeah, Waterdeep's in between Neverwinter and Baldur's Gate. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Awesome. We'll have to shelf that. Look it up. I will. <laughs> We're not going there anyway. <laughs> so, so, Pete, you wanted to like stop people and ask them things, or or do we want to just go on to, well, to never I mean, win? Based on what they look like, just start, you know, trying to see if we can get any further intel. Anybody's heard any tales of um, things that need to be done? Sure, sure. So, all right, Jeff. No, I'm, hold on. I am honestly going to say that, like, I guess roll a twenty. And and like I'm a do it do an investigation check for twenty, and a, a DC twenty I'm gonna give you a chance to have somebody actually know what's going on because most of these people are merchants or travelers or whatever they don't know they don't even they haven't even heard of Fandolin in most cases you know. All right, right. Yeah. But I mean, we're going up there by the thunder tree. I mean, it's still you know if they heard anything. Yeah, no, I think there's a chance that you could run into somebody, but I think for the most part, people wouldn't have. But but roll it, like I say, roll a investigation check. And what do I have to hit? A twenty. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, right. okay, okay. Gotcha. Just just yeah. I don't I don't yeah. think 
most of the people that you see are travelers and whatnot. So, so anyways, it's two days of travel to get to Neverwinter. What I, I don't know that I'm necessarily, you know, Neverwinter's like Metropolis yeah, for Faerun. Um, I don't have NPCs and all that stuff set up there. If I know Corey wants to get a horse, I want to do one. Yeah, like what else? I want to talk to the party. What does other people? What do other people want to do in in Neverwinter? Are we just supplying up, or I think we're talking about a riding horse or a pack horse? I think I want a riding horse. A riding horse is seventy five gold, and. We could make some speed if we all bought that. We I think we all have seventy five gold at this point with we all the treasure we got. We'd have to have animal handling. Do you to have a mount? To ride it. I don't think so. With any proficiency and actually get the bonus. I don't know about that. I just figured a horse <laughs> would be fast. I think that's something for two weeks from now. Okay, I'm us. buying a horse while we're here. I have a horse. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> my retainers brought my horse. So anybody else need to do anything? I'm just thinking about trying to hook their characters up in a way that a big city would be able to help when, you know, for example, you know, blacksmith stuff like that. There, you're going to be able to kind of find some crazy stuff if you want to, but uh, but I don't know if you want to. I don't want to spend a ton of time slowing down the story. Oh. By by role playing all that stuff as well. This isn't a water deep camp or never winter campaign. Yeah, or maybe we just there's only 15 minutes left. Maybe we just call it now. That's and what we, I'm saying. Yeah, and do it do it next session. We can yeah. kind of you guys think about like I'm I'm not gonna. I know one thing I really want to do as well is go to a blacksmith and try and get Madoka armor. <laughs> sure. Take days. I could tell you the details on that. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about it in the meantime. I, I think you could have somebody start working on something while you went to Thunder Tree. Yeah. Anyways, if you had the right. Right amount of money and stuff about that, um, yeah. So guys, just like I say, if if you think anything that you want to do for your characters that you could do in Neverwinter that you couldn't do in the rest of this adventure, then just we'll chat about it before next session. Okay. And uh, and how we can make it happen and stuff. Sounds good. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Word. All right, everybody. Peace. What do you do playing games tonight?